Well, what we basically did last time is we looked at the classical utility maximizing model and talked about uh, getting from there to the Marshallian demand curves with a stop along the way at the first order conditions. So let me just put that back up on the board. So the problem we started with was maximize utility, which we said depended on many goods, x1 up to xn. And as I said before, one of the toughest parts of this theory is really that we don't have a whole lot of ex-ante information about what this utility function looks like, nor do we actually get to see it. You know, we'll contrast that with what we'll talk about later in the quarter, which is a production function. For example, you know, these might be the inputs to what you use to produce corn, but the big virtue in the corn case is you actually get to see the corn. Right? You actually get to see what's being produced, as here we just have this thing called utility that we don't see. In either case, we think they're choosing the inputs in some sense to get a lot of output, but in the case of utility theory, we don't really directly see the output. Right? That's, one of the big, that's going to be one of our big handicaps. And it's going to turn out, when I talk about it later, to be one of the reasons we're in some sense going to want to minimize the role of utility in what we talk about. We're going to really actually want to maximize the, the role of something like production. And fortunately for us, I think production really lies at the heart of much of this analysis anyway, but we're really not there yet. 